We saw an absolute bludgeoning in tech again today with many stocks falling double digits, including the trade desk that reported earnings today and fell 26%. If we actually break down some of those earnings, they actually weren't too, too bad. If you look at it, they doubled their earnings expectations. They're expecting 77 cents per. They did a $1.41 per. Revenue came in a little bit higher than expected, but city analysts were expecting revenue of between 259 and 262 million, so significantly missing on that. Um, and they also announced a 10 for one stock split. Now, normally, anytime a stock split's announced, it usually seems like the stock just absolutely flies, um, especially with you know a top and bottom beat, mainly a, mainly a top line beat. Bottom, uh, it, it could go either way, but um, as of right now, you know it's it. Did not look that bad, which is why I'm, I'm incredibly shocked by the um, by the absolute decline. But I mean, we saw a decline in the broader market as well. Nasdaq just got absolutely bludgeoned today, down another two and a half percent. So it, it's been falling hard. You know, it's it, it was doing extremely well, and you know, it's it's fallen over five percent from where it was just about a month ago. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, we saw the Dow up all day today until the very end when. We just saw more of a sell-off S&P as well. Um, it was all really towards the end of the day when we saw a massive, massive sell-off. Um, but I mean, I, I, I try to buy the dip more, uh, but I'm all in. I deposited the last of the money I had liquid in my bank account, um, and I'm all in. I bought more BABA, I bought more Amazon, and I bought more Apple. BABA still seems like the greatest possible play right now. It's just trading incredibly cheap, but um, yeah, that's what I did today. But you know, the Trade Desk is one of the other ones. MGIN as well. Um, this stock just got, again, another stock just got absolutely hammered today. And this isn't even that big of a company. This is a $3.3 billion company. And it just got absolutely rocked today. Um, one of the top losers, um, you know, in, in, the, in the broader market today, uh, that and Trade Desk. But I mean, we go ahead and look at their earnings as well. Um, you, you know, earnings per share beat by two cents in revenue right in, right in line. Um, so it, it's crazy to see that this is happening, um, you know, in the market. And, you know, it, they're, holding up, they're holding up high expectations. And if you don't make those expectations, you get slaughtered. We're seeing heavy, heavy growth stocks, you know, the big growth stocks such as like Jamia, Shopify, Trade Desk, all these ones with high PE multiples. They are just getting absolutely slaughtered today. So you look at something like ARC, you know, and the, the freaking, the ETF alone is down 5.2% because they just hold so many of those high multiple stocks. And, um, you know, it's it's crazy, you know, but it's sad because, you know, really, really good stocks as well, like, you know, Apple and stuff that don't deserve to be down that much, just get bludgeoned. You know, Apple, Apple is well off of um, its highs of 145. It's down over 12.5% from its highs. That's a serious correction from where it was. And that's despite posting, you know, some of the most er, biggest earnings beat, beat we've ever seen. Um, so, again, incredible that this is happening. Incredible that we're seeing, you know, stuff like this. But I don't know. I, I, I'm i buying the dip and I'm, I'm confidently buying the dip because I know that, you know, we're, we're seeing a little bit of a rotation out of tech like we have been for the past couple months since January. Um but I, I do really expect that we're going to see a nice recovery. I mean, if you see, we've just seen straight decline, you know, since January, especially, you know, even in the NASDAQ itself, um, you know, mainly since January as well, um, you know, big declines. But overall, it's been mega, mega cap tech just hasn't seen a, hasn't seen a good day recently. Um, but I, I do expect that to change very soon. Um, I think that, you know, it's, 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 over, it's been overdone um, in a lot of names, but... Again, I, I, I think this is a great opportunity to buy the dip, um, especially you know, if you want to take a riskier approach on something like Trade Desk that you know, did report a pretty solid earnings beat. Um, you know, a lot more expect, er, analysts were expecting on the profit side, but revenue side, it was just not a big enough beat you know, you know, for companies that they were looking at. You know, we just saw Roku had an amazing one and, um, the other day. And you know the stock was up huge, and now today it's you know right back down to almost where it was that day when it had that massive earnings pop. Um, so you know just it's it's crazy. This market is brutal. There's it's not nice. 
Um, but I do believe in these companies long term. And I think you're going to see our day very soon. I think this whole stupid rotation out of out of you know good tech stocks with good earnings, hopefully is over. And, you know the rotation back into um, you know good quality is going to happen soon because you know these companies don't deserve to take the beating that they that that they do despite posting you know some insane insane numbers. So you know again we'll see what happens. We'll see how everything plays out. But overall, just an absolute brutal day in the market. Um, but I think it's a great opportunity to buy. I mean you have Amazon down a hundred points. You look where Amazon was uh, just a couple days ago. The stock was sitting at um, after hours, jumped up to 36.50, and from there has fallen over 10% since its earnings. So, again, just shocking, truly, truly shocking to see companies post such insane earnings beats, you know, and get sold off that hard. So. It's one of those rotations. It's one of those things where people are just selling off like crazy. But I do believe in it long term. And um, we're going to see our day very, very soon, I hope. But um, yeah, I mean, the VIX was just absolutely spiking today, as you guys can clearly see, up 17.8%. And I'm not sure why, to be honest. Um, but, you know, again, we'll, we'll we'll see how this is playing off. I'm I'm very confused as to why. I didn't read anything significant, um, but you know we're just gonna have to see. I mean, we're, this is a lot of this stuff has just been well-known knowledge already. But again, we'll see how this plays off. We'll see how everything goes. But right now, it's looking bad. At least Thursday for me, I have Baba's earnings. I can maybe bring this company back from the dead um, because it hasn't done anything at all in you know a long time. I mean, you look at it yeah, back in 2018, the stock's almost the exact same price, just ten dollars difference. Um, and it's just been it's just been having a really really rough everything a rough everything. But again, I I believe that long term we're gonna see uh, good growth in all of these, and you know the stock price will reflect it. So, anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on all of this. Let me know if you bought the dip today, if you're sitting on cash, if you're selling, if you're shorting, because uh, I am curious to know what you guys are up to and what your guys' thoughts are on the market. Um, again, I appreciate all the support that we've had recently. Um, a lot of growth and I, I, I do really appreciate that each and every one of you you guys know I have a discord if you guys ever want to get in contact with me feel free hop in the discord let's talk um, always here for you guys but you know even if you just want to even if you don't want to talk about stocks you, you're just having a rough day and you want to talk again I'm always here for you guys and you know that's that's what I'll always do so anyways guys enjoy your day Try to enjoy it as best as you can. I know it's a rough day when, when everything is taking a beating unless you're a bear and you made some good money today, but uh, that's not the case for me. I lost about a little over 7.5K today. So, Anyways, guys, have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe, and have a, uh, have a blessed day. Bye.